So with the discussion of risks uh, and safety out of the way, we can now start uh, uh, talking about how to turn the system on. You can see uh, in this case, the monitor is on. Uh, that's because um, I have already logged into the iLab kiosk. So before you start using the system, that's step number one, just logging into the iLab kiosk. Uh, the next steps uh, for system startup uh, and really all other steps are here in instructions that will always be in the room in which we will print out so that you have a copy. Uh, there's a more recent version of these that I, I haven't printed out yet, but it's essentially this part is all the same. Um, so we're going to follow the instructions here for starting it up. So the first step is to start your session on the ILAB kiosk. I've already done that. The next step is to turn on the power strip. So the power strip is here. It's labeled, as you can see. It's labeled green, so we should only touch it with ungloved hands. Turn it there. When you turn that on, you can hear some noises. That's perfectly fine. The next step is to turn on laser lines, all of them. So even if you're not using all of the lasers, you have to turn them all on, else there's gonna be an error message uh, that's gonna be very distracting. Uh, so the laser lines are down here. Uh, this is a box where you turn these on one at a time and they have some colors kind of similar to what the color of the laser is. So that's all done. Make sure the computer is on. So this computer should always be left on uh, by everyone. Uh, if the person before you, for whatever reason, forgot that and turned it off, uh, the CPU is down here, and then that's the on-off button. But um, people have been following procedures well, so this is on. I'm just going to hit enter. And so uh, this computer has two usernames, Snape and LVBT. Snape is the nickname for this computer. Uh, the password is MSL. And I'm just gonna hit enter. And we are now logged in. Okay, so the software that we're going to use uh, is called Inspector Pro over here. So I'm just gonna double click on that. And the software is going to start. Uh, you'll see here, uh, there's a device initialization status. This should not show any errors. If it does, please contact the staff. So you have to wait a little bit to get everything going. Okay, once that's done, we have here um, the software, which I'll go into in more detail uh, as we move forward. But the first step um, before we can use the software is mounting the sample. So that's the next thing I'm going to describe. 